Hi everyone and welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. What I'm going to go through with you now is an unstructured mole style question which is suitable for anyone studying the year one part of the OCRA specification. So for this one, we can see the question. Effectively what we've got is if you read through it, there's a metal been dissolved or reacted with a small amount of water. This solution that results from the metal reacting with water is then made up to a total volume of 300 centimeters cubed. Now, a small portion of that solution, 25 centimeters cubed to be exact, is then reacted in a titration with sulfuric acid and the volume and concentration of sulfuric acid are known. The task is to find the identity of the group two metal M. So let's have a look at first off what the question has given us. We're told that the group two metal reacts completely with the water and group two metals do react with water. For instance, we know there is an equation of M plus 2H2O, which will react to form MOH2 and some hydrogen gas. We know that that's an equation that takes place. Now, it's made up to a 300 centimeters cube volume. So what we can say here is when this happens, the volume here is 300 centimeters cubed. A 25 centimeter cubed sample of this solution required 23.78 centimeters cubed of 0.2 mole per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid. So we then take a 25 centimeter cubed portion of that 300 centimeter cubed solution and we react it with sulfuric acid. So MOH2 reacting with H2SO4 reacts to form MSO4 and we also get 2H2O. We know the concentration and the volume of H2SO4. They're just here. And the identity of group two metal M can be deciphered from all this information. So let's start off and have a look at what we're gonna do. We're gonna be basically starting here with the H2SO4, working our way backwards through here to get to the identity of the metal M. And our final step, if we think about what the last thing is that we need to do, for group two metal M, what we should really do at the end is AR equals mass divided by moles. That should be our last step. So that's what we wanna to work towards. First thing we can do then is use the information for the H2SO4 we have down here, since you have two pieces of information from one of the triangles. So what that means we can do is moles of H2SO4 equals concentration times volume, as long as you convert the volume over a thousand, is going to equal a value of 4.757 times 10 to the power of minus three. Now the ratio of sulfuric acid to our group two metal hydroxide is one to one. So therefore this is also the number of moles of MOH2 in 25 centimeters cubed. So one to one, therefore M OH2 moles in 25 centimeters cubed equals 4.757 times 10 to the minus three mole. Now what we need is the number of moles in the 300 centimeter cubed solution. So what we need to do is take this number, 4.757 times 10 to the minus three and times it by a conversion which allows us to get from one volume to another and figure out how many moles we have. So what we need to do is think of it like you're writing a postcard. Since you're going on a journey from one equation to another, think of it as like a postcard. And for a postcard, you would have a to at the start and a from underneath. Well, that's exactly what you need to do here. You need to times it by what you're going to, which is 300 and divide that 300 by what you're coming from, which is 25. Now you could of course just figure out what this number is, but sometimes what you're gonna get is here a volume of something like 27.93. And it's not gonna be an obvious figure, so you're best off just putting whatever it is in brackets and just doing this. Now this gives us a total number of moles of the metal hydroxide in 300 centimeters cubed, which is equal to 0 0.05708 mol. Now, since in this equation here, the ratio of the metal hydroxide to the metal is one to one, this is also the number of moles of the metal that was initially dissolved and made into a solution which had a volume of 300 centimeters cubed, which means we actually have our mole value down here. 
So what I can now say is the AR of this unknown group two metal is going to be the five grams from the start of the question divided by 0 0.05708. And this is going to give me my final answer here of 87.6. So this is the AR of our unknown group two metal. And this is of course strontium. And you can look that up on your periodic table. I hope that gives you an example of an unstructured mole question, how we can write out equations and plan out a journey of what we need to do from one side of all this set to the other. Make sure your working out is nice and clear. You can see mine here is obvious and I've got to the final answer at the bottom here, but for an OCR paper, remember this will normally go on the dotted line to make it easy for the examiner to mark. I'll leave you to the rest of the playlist. Happy revising.